Hi, Carla, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. How was your weekend? It was a very good weekend. Yeah, why uh, is that? I didn't work. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that, that's, that's good. I ate. Mm, uh, chicken very very delicious i'm eating right now <laughs> okay I just get home like a few minutes ago hey enjoy and you ate at what what hour i usually eat around six Usually around six. Me too. Be oh, okay. What is your strong meal? Lunch. I usually don't have a breakfast. I know that's bad, but it's what it is. <laughs> um, dinner. It's not that light like it should be. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I ate a little bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing, but I don't have anything else. I was watching that. Um, it's kind of scary because we have forty. No, I'm sorry, four thousand people infected. So can you imagine? Mm -hmm. That's for the full statistic. That's the registered stat statistics. So I, I don't know, it could be more maybe. But let's say it's, it is true. Let's say it is 4,000 people and an average of 200 people a day. Can you imagine that? So next week we'll have 5,000. That's 5,000 people walking around with the virus. That's, that's scary. These days, there is a lot of, of bodies mm, because of the Christmas. And, but it, it's gonna be worse, I think, on January. January. Oh yeah. I think uh, the people don't want to send their children to school, but they want to have a party. It's true. It's true. What What about in your in your company? Are you guys having like a I don't know a bank lunch? No, I heard that the chiefs. The boss mm -hmm. can say like, let's go and have a party. Mm, they can say that in this year. But they, the, they can't or they can? They can't. Okay. Um, the big boss said like, if they want to have a party, they, they will have a party, but uh, with their friends, with their the closest co-workers, but the big, the big party is not, we will not have a, a party this year. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think any company is having a, a party this year for two reasons. One is not convenient because of the COVID. And number two, it is convenient for them so that they save a lot of money. Mm hmm They say a lot of money. Yeah. But I don't know, it's just this thing that people um, want to have a party, but um, with responsibilities like sending their, their children to school or go to work, they say no, it's, 
the coronavirus here, the coronavirus there. Yes, it's true. It's true. Uh, hello, Gio. Hello, Ingrid. Welcome. How was your weekend? Hello. Hello. Hi. How was your weekend? Very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. What did you do? Uh, when I went to with a friends for co mm -hmm. for co for coffee and dessert, and Saturday. Where? And I like the donut place. I really like that place. Oh, okay. It's very delicious. And the coffee is very good, too. Yes, yes, it is. I like El Arco. It's, it's, it's a few meters from there. Yeah, Cafe, Cafe El Arco? It's near. Donut yeah. place is near. Yeah. Have you been to a Cafe El Arco? Yes, long time ago. I... That is a great place for a first date. It is. And you say yes. you see the volcano and everything. It's very private too. It is. Yeah, that is. That, yeah, it's a it's a great it's a great place for a date, or, <laughs> or to be unfaithful. No, because you know some men or some women that they're unfaithful and they go out, they can go there and nobody sees them. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What about you, Gio? How was your weekend? I you relax. <laughs> what did you do? The, the regular weekend stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, movies. Lots of those yeah, kind of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ingrid, where do you live? In Mexicanos area. Oh, in Mexicanos. And Carla, you live in La Ivo, right? Um, what about yes. you, Gio? Um, I'm in the limit from Me Mexicanos and Ayutuspeque. Okay. The reason why I'm asking you, is your zone crazy right now with the traffic? Mm, nope. No. No. Oh. Man, here by my house is is it's it's just like normal December now. It's traffic at any time. Hello. I think I believe um Saturday the traffic was crazy because uh, Nash, uh, the National University about the new for the new students. I think I heard something like that. But Oh really? Yes. <clears throat> well, yesterday, no, wait, Saturday, <laughs> Saturday was funny because um, remember we were talking about that Pollo Campero was not going to have Christmas lights? Yeah. Well, I don't know where people got the idea that there was going to be Christmas lights. So Saturday, it was crazy, man. It was, all the traffic and all the people parked it. <laughs> It was so fun. I told my wife, oh my God, these people are actually waiting for the Luces Campero. But people like park, parked in the in the bypass and normally where everybody parks. It, it was kind of sad because you saw a lot of people with their families, you know. But then I said, it's sad, but that's really stupid because everybody has a smartphone now. And now it's very easy to discover if there is going to be lights or not when fireworks because Pollo Campero was very specific it says there will be no fireworks it's going to be virtual but yeah. it, was, it was full you should have seen it it was so full yeah. <laughs> yeah I wonder I tell my wife I wonder what time the people left maybe like at 9 30 or 10 they said you know what maybe there is going to be no Right. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to take a video, but I was driving, so so it was it was bad. Hey, I I heard the president was going to talk today, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that's why nobody's in class right now. It's mm. funny. A lot of people hate the president, but when he's going to talk, they're like. Oh. Everybody's looking, is watching. Hey, teacher. Yeah. 
Is it me or are we less and less? How do you notice that? Mm, I we were like eighteen at the beginning. Eighteen. I remember twenty-four, twenty-one. Somewhere moved. Remember? Somewhere moved. Uh -huh. Do you remember Jorge Mendoza? Yes. I don't see him anymore. I don't either. Or Melvin. Uh huh. And Melvin was always very active. Yeah. Alvin changed from Alvin. Melvin. From uh huh. Alvin changed from yeah to another. Yeah, she moved to Academia Europea. With another, it's not anymore with Inglés Corporativo. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. But you know, in a way, that's kind of better though, because I I, I feel an hour is very short. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, that's why we have to take advantage the most we can. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and we have Rosa Elena. How are you, Rosa? Uh, there is. Hi. How are you? Marvin. Hello, Rosa. How are you? You know, I went on Saturday when you said the last, uh, the other night to the Panes Renita. Oh, you went? Yeah, I <laughs> went. I knew, I knew the the, the Panes. I didn't uh -huh. know knew them. Oh, okay. Did you like them? It's good, but no. Mm, it's, it's something like uh, very special. But oh, really? They are good. But yeah. they're big. Yeah, it's good. They're, yeah, I mean, if you compare them to Panes Migueleños, that it's this, I think maybe yeah. it's the same size or bigger, maybe. And they're four dollars, and Panes Migueleños are like six or seven dollars. Maybe I, I prefer Panes Reinita. Hmm. I prove, um, I try quesadillas too, and camote too. That was delicious. I remember last Christmas, I was there, and um, yeah, I think it was last Christmas, because um, it's better to go buy a pan con pavo, man. Instead, of my my my, my mother-in-law doesn't like to cook anymore. She's like, I don't want to cook. It's too it's too. There's a lot of, unless you're going to cook like for ten ten people or more. But if it's just gonna be for five people. It, it's yeah. true. I mean, it's better to spend twenty-five dollars and everything is set and ready. You don't cook. Yeah. You don't wash. You don't. You just have to clean. But I remember I went there and I, while I was waiting for the for the breads, because it's kind of full that day, um, I found a telephone on my table. It was a nice, nice phone. It was like a Samsung something. I was yes, yes. Yes, but I had to do what I had to do. And I said, no, I'm going to, well, ni modo, I have to wait for the bang. If the person returns, then yes, I will return it. So I was waiting and waiting and oh, please give me my panes now. Please give me my panes now. Please hurry up, hurry up. Because I didn't want to feel guilty. I just wanted to leave and hey, I waited. But the person did show up. The person did show up and... Uh, said, hi, did I happen to leave a phone here? Yes, you did, ma'am, here. And all she said was, thank you, bye, bye. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sometimes being good is not, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes be bad, man. You know, if I were bad, I would have taught her a lesson. Never forget your things. But, okay, let me see. On Friday, mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember we finished with the um, Mr. Ronnie's story with how he met his wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I didn't have internet until the next day, like at nine in the morning. Uh, and what was it? I don't know. Uh, I went to sleep like around 10.30. So, you know, I, I, just, I was like waiting. It never came back. So um, the next day I just woke up. I There was no internet. So 
I had to go do some errands. And, and when I came back, it was like around 9, 9, 9 10. I said, wow, there's still no internet. And I said, okay, I'm going to change and everything. I'm going to call. But while I was doing that, the internet came. But until, Saturday, until Saturday. Until the next day, yeah. What's a very big problem? I should tell him, hey, you should discount one day from my my pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, eh, antes que me lo diga Jaime, I did pay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I saw you, Jaime. I, I know that that's what you were thinking. I could see it in your forehead. I'm going to offer <laughs> the, the, the package. Yes, you're going to tell me the regret you should have paid. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Tell me if you see my screen. Yes, sir. All right. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to qualities the following use of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable. Gorgeous. Industrious. Muscular. Slender. Clever. Charming. Knowledgeable. Persuasive. Tough. Affordable. Attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Okay. Um these are pretty much adjectives, right? So uh, <clears throat> here is adjectives as a quality. And because of her job, I will start here with Ingrid. <laughs> it, yes, because you interview people all the time, right? Yes. So what, what area have you interviewed lately? In restaurants area. In the restaurants, okay. Yeah. What are some qualities that you look for in um, people that go for, for the interview? Um, uh, I'm sorry, before we start, did you understand all the vocabulary, all, all the adjectives? Not really. <laughs> Attractive, entertaining, oh. informative, well written. Oh, shoot. I said shoot. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, a not. Okay, we understand everything, right? Fashionable, gorgeous. We want you to work with us. Do you Think understand what gorgeous thing. is? No. It's, it's beautiful. Yes. I remember it's more, more than beauty. Yeah, I mean, you can look at me and say, man, he's, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, gorgeous, it can be for both sex, okay? Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous, he's gorgeous. Uh -huh. It's a very attractive person. Uh -huh. What is industrious? Industrious. Industrious. Mm. Hard worker, a person that works hard. Is hard worker? Uh, hard yes. worker. Uh, Although it's really not a very common adjective, so people always say like just hard worker. Muscular, uh, slender. What is slender? Like thin people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like more than thin, maybe skinny. Skinny. Clever. Clever. Mars. Yeah, but more than smart, clever smart. is like Bebo, Bebo. Bebo. 
you know, clever, uh, charming. Charming. Uh, uh, let me tell you, for example, uh, Funes is not charming. <laughs> no, it's the contrary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you think of Funes, what, what, like the majority of people would say, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. So charming is the contrary, like somebody encantador. He's charming, she's charming. De ahí viene Prince Charming. Prince Charming. Yeah. Yes. Someday you will find your Prince Charming. Then we have persu Persuasive. Yeah. Somebody. Who, yeah, or somebody who's always insisting, who, who never stops. Persuasive. And yeah, they, they, knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Oh, okay. Knowledgeable comes from knowledge. Somebody who knows uh -huh. a lot. Uh -huh. You know who's very knowledgeable that I know of is, um, como se llama? Willy Maldonado. Uh -huh. Well, in music and movies. Mm -hmm. I don't like him. I hated his show, but when I listen to, <laughs> sometimes I remember I was driving and listening to, to, um, La Lasser or something. So, no, yeah, este gran éxito de... Yeah, este <laughs> éxito fue 1949 cuando Billy mm -hmm. Elliot, no sé qué, yo, but damn. And, or sometimes they call him, you know, they would call him and they would say like, you know, they would talk about a specific genre and he would say, wow, eh, Bulls Durham, the Scorsese en 88, en 80 fue no sé qué. But he's very knowledgeable. I would love to talk to him about music or, or movies. Yeah. So knowledgeable is someone who knows a lot. Who knows a lot. Okay. For example, Veronica, who do you think here in the class is very not knowledgeable about numbers and laws? Um Maybe me. <laughs> and okay. Jaime and Rosa Navas, maybe because uh, we are accountant. Oh, you're an accountant too, it's true. That's why yeah. I chose you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, okay, you guys are very knowledgeable in numbers and um and laws. But yeah, not, it's true. But not laws number. Not laws numbers. <laughs> number laws. <laughs> Okay, so that, that, that would be knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay, uh, next we have tough. Tough. Tough, tough is something with strong. Some, something hard? Yes, hard, but in this strong. case, in this case, did you watch the news remember when they interviewed president francisco flores about the 10 million dollars yeah i think it was gallegos well like five people they were interviewing him for two hours yeah asking him where is the money what happened to the money and francisco flores was like it's gone it's it's well the thing is he never gave a straight answer it's hard, hard to tell him that uh, he, was, he was he was tough. tough. He was yeah. tough. Mm -hmm. And personally, I think he won because the other five people they got angry. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Gallego very, said, "You know what? Stop lying. Angry. You are a thief. Just say the truth." And he was just like, "What? What do you want me to say then?" <laughs> you know, he was very calm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was tough. That was a tough interview. Yeah. Or like sometimes when you go to a job interview, you know, you're expecting the normal, the normal questions. Tell me about yourself, you know, and this and that. But no, those questions were like more difficult, you know. What would you do in a situation that you're like, well, what? And then I ask you, hey, how was the interview? It was tough. The TOEFL exam is tough. Oh. It's even tough for an English teacher. 
So if you ever take it and don't pass it, don't worry, man. It's tough. Okay, next we have affordable. Something I I can pay for it. <laughs> yeah, it depends on your on your uh, money. Yeah. Yes, it depends on how much money you have. For example, oh, like I told you, um, sometimes in my family, it's more affordable to go buy panes reinita than to get the turkey and do this and that and this and more money, more time, more patience and everything. So it's mm -hmm. more affordable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the difference between salvacola and Coca-Cola? Well, uh, salvacola is a big, it's a wannabe, it's a imitation of Coca-Cola and it's more affordable. More affordable, yeah. More yes. affordable than, than, than Coca-Cola. The salvacola is more affordable than Coca-Cola. Yes, yes. So that's why I drink salvacola and Petrov. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Salvadorian style. Like Cochabamba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have attractive. 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 Yeah, attractive. You know, mm, um, somebody you like is is attractive to you just by looking at him or her. We can be a sale too. Yes. Yes, that looks attractive. That menu yeah. looks attractive. Yeah. Damn, that, that's some strong yeah. typing. Yeah. <laughs> Poor keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Is that a type? Is a typing machine? Yeah. That, that yeah, typing machine. <laughs> no, no, no. I think we got some. That's how it sounded. I was just. I, I was waiting for yeah. the ding. Ding. <laughs> it's a baby, a uh, like like uh, like a uh, machine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we have entertaining. We we understand that one, right? Yeah. Informative. Informative. Yeah. And well written. Do you have a neighbor who is always very informative? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone Here, has so. I have. Now, here in, in my neighbor, no, but X, X, uh, thing works, yes, co workers, like co workers, oh, ex co workers, yeah. yes, Enjoy. you always have a very informative neighbor or co worker or family member. Teacher is like a talkative. Hey, Ronnie, <laughs> hey, you're back. <laughs> yes, uh, <I'm> back. <laughs> No, inf yeah, but informative is someone who tells you who informs a lot. Mm. Like, you know, when they call you, you know, they usually start like, hey, did you know? <laughs> did you hear? <laughs> did you know? People did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? People did, say that you don't want to. I had a good look on for Friday. You. <laughs> no, they always start like this. Did you know? Did you hear? And they finish, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no me guess. This is what I heard. <laughs> so you know, I don't know say, why the teacher go go out of the class on Friday. I don't know because I didn't pay my my <laughs> my bill. <laughs> what really surprised me is that now Claro has. Um, they have tech support workers at night. Before they didn't. They only had until seven. Okay, so back to Ingrid. So when you interview in the restaurant business, what are some qualities that you look for in in those people? Well, um, like if, if you're interviewing for a chef. Is pressure of tolerance because they need to work very quickly and I've learned that the chef have a very special moods. They are a kind of angry. Angry? Yes. Okay. They, they have bad temper. Uh, so, so maybe you're looking for tolerant. 
Yes. They, they have to be very tolerant. Yes, and they have to manage, uh, they have to be a control person because they need to to work very quickly because they, they work on times. Yes. Uh, they have to be, uh, uh, they have to be um, flexible uh, and they have to work. Um, there is a, um, a competence, productivity, teamwork. There is the, 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 the stuff that we have in, in we have to, to search in, in this kind of, of works, uh, in close hostess, helper kitchens, a waiters, cashier. So you, I, I imagine that you have to be very tolerant and hard worker and responsible. Yes. Yes, and and one of the uh, the per, one of the candidates uh, has problems with anger. In the interview, he pushed. <laughs> he did that in the interview. Yeah, because um, um it was very um. Oh my god! And I noticed I noticed um certain behavior of in him. And and he was a, a kind of like a, a dental. <laughs> he was very. I don't know how to how to express that. Okay, give very, me, give me, give me, um, give me that adjective. He was very what? I I, I have in Spanish and I have in Salvadorian. <laughs> what is it? Chivatero. Yeah, sí. I would say slick. Yes, and and I and and he he didn't answer the question that I have doing, so that I was uh, oh no I, him I have to search more because he, uh, here is something that is not much, and and no something that doesn't make sense. Yes, something uh, that uh, something. Doesn't, uh, make doesn't, make doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yes, and and I have to, um, and I asked for three times in different ways, and and at the last he he gave me the the, the answer, and he was very angry, and I, and and it was he built that with the with her with his hands, and when I was scared, but I. I didn't show that because it's, I, I, I needed to be in control all the time. And I, after I get up of this, of, the, of that mood, because I couldn't, uh, it's not good um, leave a person in, in that emotional I could state. imagine your face if somebody does this uh, and you're... Well, uh, in an interview, I've learned to to put a poker face. Okay. Because it's not um, I it's not good show my emotional states because it could be a problem for the candidate and I can affect. So in this case, what did you tell him? Um, well, thank you. We'll call you. No, uh, the first step that I did is uh, get out of that emotional state because he was angry very angry and and my idea i think she was um yeah, i don't know how to say maltratar gente or, or su familia porque es, uh, because it was yeah the, like that the, macho the, type yes <laughs> yeah and it was very it was very it was very tense for me because uh, it was um, yeah. um if you want when i see you i can give you the taser <laughs> What? <laughs> Remember my taser? <laughs> I'll and, give it to you when I see you. And <laughs> he was talking about teamwork and he was a very respective person. Yeah. This was very special. It was very different. And, and I ran about the chef because they have bad, bad temper. Tem Temper, yes. They are very angry and uh, I don't know how to say amargadito. They are bitter. Yes. They, oh, they it, that, that's that's interesting about in, in your job. You learn you learn all those characteristics. 
Yes, and the waiters, my respect for everyone because they they have to 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 live with uh, with crazy people. They with clients respect. and chefs and bosses. Yes. And and they have maybe they receive bad bad words, bad bad treats, and 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 now I've seen I see them different. Yes, it's true. Interesting. Yes, nice. it's very interesting. It's very interesting this kind of work. Yes. All right. Um, thank you. Let me see, Alexander. Are you there? Maybe not. Ruth, are you there? Maybe yes. not. Is the president on already? Oh, well, hi. Hello, Ruth. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. All right. Ruth. Yes. What is um, a quality? What is a quality that you need to be a uh, athlete, a soccer player in El Salvador? Quality? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what, to, a, a quality to be an athlete? To be what? An athlete. I don't understand. Athlete. Atletico, athlete. Uh, Deportivo, ah. athlete. To be um, uh, fit. Okay, um, good. Be slim. And slim? Yes. Thank well, you. Well, fit and slim is pretty much the same. Ah, okay. So a quality you need to be a, 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 in a, a soccer player in El Salvador is to be fit. And be health. Healthy. Healthy. And young. And young. <laughs> okay. And clever, and clever. And clever, yes. Clever. Because unfortunately in soccer at 29, you are considered old. Mm, so sad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. That's why I always tell people when people tell me that, um, Maradona or Ronaldinho was the best soccer player in history. And I said, well, maybe. But, you know, I tell people, where was Ronaldinho at 29? At 30, he was finished. And I respect players like Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. They are 34, 35. But I think it's discipline. Look how people hit them, boom, everywhere, and they still play. So I, that's another adjective right there, Ruth. You have to be very uh, disciplined. Yes. Okay, um, let's hear the next video. Given reasons used the newest place in town. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. All right, let's talk about this, but El Salvador style. Like, what's your favorite place to go to? Oh, my favorite bar was Los Capulines, but it doesn't exist anymore. 
<laughs> okay. Um, what's your favorite spot? Look, let me explain something first. I'm going to write here joint. Do you see what I wrote there, joint? Yes. Okay, joint, yes. I mean, joint is what you call a, a cigarette of marijuana, a joint. But also, you can say like a pupusa joint. Like if you ask me, hey, what'd you do on Friday? Ah, nothing, I went to La Bendición. What is la bendición? Oh, it's a pupusa joint. Like if, a place? Yes, it's a, a joint. Imagine a gringo asks you, what is a pupuseria? What is a taqueria? There is no exact word for taqueria <clears throat> in English. So you just say it's a taco joint. It's a pupusa joint. Yes. Okay, let me see. Ronnie. Hi, teacher. Hello, Ronnie. Can you tell me your favorite restaurant to take your family? Um, my favorite. Your original family? Uh, with my parents. When no, I no, your family. Child? family. Oh, okay. With your wife and children? Uh, I don't know, maybe for the kids, maybe the pizza, I guess. Okay, and why is that, Ronnie? Why do you like taking the kids to Pizza Hut? Um, I don't know when. I don't like. Pizza. I just go away, go in for the kids, for the children. Why do they like to go there? For for the children likes. For accompanying your kid. Yes, but I uh, personally I don't like pizza. No, I, I understand. Yes, I imagine that you don't like pizza, but. I, I know why you take your children there, but I want you to tell me. So why do you go there with your children? Uh, they like to eat pizza. <laughs> okay. I, I imagine that you were going to tell me because they like to play in the playground area. Oh, maybe because in this, in this time, they don't want to play in for, yes. for their age. They can't? Oh, okay. This is, is uh, he, my, my daughter is 18 and my son uh, 12. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So that was my, my question to ask you. So my question was, Ronnie, where is your favorite place to take your family? Can you please ask somebody your favorite place, your favorite bar, favorite disco, favorite salon? And your favorite place. Okay. Ask somebody, please. Somebody. And let me see. Hey, Carla. Where is Carla? <laughs> oh. Carla, where is your favorite place? My favorite place is the oh, movie To theater. rest. <laughs> to rest, okay, yes. To rest. To rest, the beach. My favorite place to rest is at the beach. All right. Which one? Good. Um... Mahawal. The shipper, the shipper, he's 
I feel better. <laughs> I mean, I just need the ocean, right. the waves, and food. That's I don't like like luxury. I like go to, for example, uh, expensive hotel, but just time to time. I feel more happy in, in, in the normal beach, like, for example, El Sunsal. Okay. Next time, go to Camarena Hotel. Camarena, where is that? Uh, every beach has one. It's free. Camarena? Yeah, La Cama la Arena, so it's free. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, one Sounded. time I had some friends that tricked me. I was like 18, and my friends said, "Tell me, hey, let's go to the beach for like uh, three days, right?" I'm okay. Where are we gonna stay? In a camarena, I'm a hotel. I'm, really? Where is that? You don't know camarena? No. Don't worry, man. We'll take care of you. Okay, good. So you know, we were like drinking and like around eight, nine. And dude, where's the hotel? Here. <laughs> So I learned the hard way what the Camarena Hotel was, but it was fun. All right, thank you, Ronnie, for your question. Carla, ask somebody, please. Gio, where is your favorite bar? Why, uh, why, why bar? <laughs> why not check? Why does uh, Gio inspire that question? <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> no, but that's because, interesting. Because he is a musician. Oh, yes. And then musicians yes. play. He, he's, not, he's not a, a drinker. Mm -hmm. He's a musician, I guess. No. All right. <laughs> the, last, the last bar I used to put plan was the medieval bar. Do you, do you know where it is? In the San Luis? Who, me or Carla? How is it called? I don't know. <laughs> Medieval. Yeah. Medieval, San Luis, or, or Santa Tecla? San Luis. That's, that, that was the last I visited. I have, I think, more than a year that I, I don't even go to a bar. Really? You don't go to bars anymore? Nope. Houses? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, Yeah, now now it's kind of dangerous to go to bars, huh? Yeah, a lot of friends have uh, bad experiences. Uh, and there, and so, man, uh, I, I got my time. <laughs> what I heard about Medieval is that all those bars or businesses in that zone mm -hmm. It's controlled by homies, by... Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. remember the Irish pub? I, I, I like that bar, too. It was good. Yeah, Irish pub. Yeah. Yeah. It was, like, very close to Medieval. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. Ask somebody, please. Um, let me see. Vero, where is your favorite place to take some drink, to stay, to have a little fun? A fun, a drink? No, I don't know. <laughs> but sometimes I, I don't San, like to... Medieval Santa Tecla, me parece. <laughs> no, I don't know Medieval Santa Búhos. Tecla. A búho. <laughs> I... Uh, probably Republic, I think. <laughs> ah, Republic. I don't know. Uh -huh. Republic is good, especially when the the music is yeah. is an online. I saw a uh, how do you say tributo, teacher? Tribute. Tribute. Tribute to Ramstein for Alter Ego. That was mm -hmm. interesting. Very, very good, very good concert. Oh, okay. Yeah. You like Ramstein? Yes, I like Ramstein. Huh. <laughs> I like them, but only like two songs, because then they're all the same. But yeah, it's, it's similar. 
But I like to watch their videos live. They are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you a break. <laughs> Have you seen Ghost? That that band, the Ghost. Yeah, Ghost. The other emeritus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're man. They are. They are not very a, a good influence on on youth. <laughs> All right, Veronica, your turn. Ask somebody, please. Okay, let's go see. Okay, Marvin Josue. Are you, are you there? <laughs> Marvin? Maybe not. Yes, they are. I think you are on mute. Um, it's your microphone, Marvin. Yeah. Yes, I have a problem. Maybe. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Well, maybe you can try it, Veronica. Ask. Uh, yeah. So, Ruth Castro. Ruth Castro. Do you like to go to the dancing in a special place or not? Do you don't like dancing? I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Ruth, uh, what place do you like to go for dancing? What place you can recommend for go dancing? Ruth, I, I don't think Ruth. I don't understand the question. Ah. I I am listen. I am listen. <laughs> there. What is the question? Which is the question? Veronica? Uh, what place do you recommend it for visit to go to dancing? Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. But guys don't go dancing. Don't go dancing. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you don't dance, Ruth? No. Oh, that's no. so cool. That's nice. Okay. I don't know. And do you like to go to the the cinema, I don't know. Yes. So what place is recommended for the lack? I, 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 but, but I, <laughs> from the pandemic, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember the name of the cinema. <laughs> okay, but, but listen to the next question. She says, what place do you recommend to relax? Relax, uh, maybe, um, mm. Cerro Verde. I recommend. Oh, you can prefer to hiking, or maybe. Do you know the the what the name of this 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 waterfall? I forgot the name, but it's uh, the my friends recommend me the place, but. For the pandemic, I never go to that place. It's in, it's in Nahuatlapan, uh, water, Caldera, water. Chorros de la Calera? No. Yes. Yes. You don't know uh, that place? Ah, uh, okay. Just, uh, just I listen that is this place, but I don't go. You know the best bar? It's nice to, to go that. There. You know, the best bar cafe I have been to in El Salvador, it was in San Miguel. It was called Don Quixote. Mm. But it didn't last, obviously, but it was so crazy because the, the owner of that bar, he had this vision. It's like everywhere you look, you see like art. Or you have to understand, like, hey, that's Dali. Like, he didn't only have pictures. He had, like, sculptures. And it was very, like, Beetlejuice. It mm. was a very, very cool bar. And 
I Do love that place. Do you Pacific this cafe? I'm San sorry? Miguel, no? It was in San Miguel. I, people, my friends tell me now it doesn't exist anymore. San Miguel, okay. okay. My friends tell me it doesn't exist anymore, but I always told the owner, I really hope you never close this bar because it's very nice. And But you know, people prefer to get done. But really that bar, I don't know if you watched the movie Beetlejuice, but it was like you were in the Beetlejuice house. It was like, yeah. and even the chairs were, you can tell he invested a lot of, a lot of money and time on, on that bar. It was really cool. I, I I would stay there like until four or five in the morning. You know how some people have karaoke? He have like, you can go and sing or just read something from a book. Or it, or like um, things from a movie. It was very interesting. Uh, that was very relaxing. Huh? Uh, open mic, they say it. When you yes. can go to receive them poetry or mm -hmm. or a joke or something yeah for me that was very relaxing I, I used to go there almost every day at least sometimes only like to drink coffee but it was like ah oh, i like this i'm in beetlejuice <laughs> mm -hmm. um, he had no lights the lights were very dim do you know what dim is yeah then way then way yeah the lights were very Mm -hmm. and, and, and especially I, I love Don Quixote so you know so that, that's what caught my attention in fact I have him here look yeah. have you have you seen that Don Quixote in Metro Centro by by the yeah. by the I movies see. man that's yeah. my dreams I always every time I see it I say someday that will be mine <laughs> Torogos, Torogos. Torogos, yes. It's like a live yeah. statue of Don Quixote. And every yeah. time I see it, I, I want that in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I just want it. <laughs> it's, it's close, um, that Torogos. I like yeah. it too. It closed? I, I imagine you saw the Metro Centro figure of yes. Don Quixote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that, yeah. That is close. But I don't know if the whole Torogos is closed, but Metro Centro uh, store, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I'm not going to see it again. I have many pictures <laughs> with that, with that Don Quixote. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now, let me see. Ruth, ask somebody, please. Okay, let me see. Well, let me ask somebody uh, just real quick, like before we finish, where is your favorite pizza place? Please don't say Pizza Hut. Let's be more original. Trusty Pizza is really, really delicious. Which one? Frosty. 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 Where is that? Uh, the principal is in Santa Tecla, next to the Montesión neighborhood. But in Los Planes, it's another. Interesting. In what kilometer, Veronica? Uh, in Los Planes, I don't know, but I know that another in La Cima, too. Frosty. But you can type in, in Facebook. Uh, crusty pizza. Ah, crusty, like like crusty the clown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, hey, that's good because sometimes I want to go to Los Planes, but I don't want pupusas. <laughs> okay, all right, nice. <laughs> but uh, try to the patrona is the name of the pizza. That's really really good. All right, what about your favorite hamburger joint? Can anyone recommend a good hamburger joint? Yesterday, I tried an amazing hamburger in Linda uh, Vista Garden. It's a name, Punta uh, Toro, maybe, I don't know, but it's really, it's really delicious hamburgers. Where is Linda Vista Garden? In Volcano. 
oh, wow, well, you see, I'm poor. So <laughs> I, you know, I'm poor, so I, I just go to like comedores, but someday I will go to the volcano. No, 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 I remember the really good hamburgers. It's Mike's Burger, too. It's really good uh, hamburgers. I remember that. Mike's that Burger. Little, oh, Mike's there's burger one. This is really good burgers. There's They're one. Not, not expensive. There's one by La Uca now. I don't know. <laughs> Mike's Burger. Yes. Really? What yes, about hot dogs? Do. The best hot dogs? Choris. <laughs> yes. Choris. <laughs> True. You know what? I don't like choris anymore. Yeah. It's there was a time I ate choris, it's I think, boring. every day for a year. It's boring, huh? Yeah, I got so bored of them. I mean, yeah, once in a while, I would eat one, but I want one. But it's like pollo campero, you know, like... You know, when yeah. you smell it, you want it, but when you start eating it, like, oh man, it's boring again. Yeah, but they're good. I mean, choris are choris. But you know, in my opinion, the best hot dogs in the in the country are Price Mart. Oh man, those are. The, but those but are here in San, Salvador, in San Salvador, what is the the place to about to if you want to to eat a lot of seafood? Uh, seafood soup, soup. Okay. I could you recommend guess. you Mercadito Merliot. Probably, you know, Mercadito Merliot. That is, some people say that is... is Maurita. Good. It's good. But yeah. another place? Puerto Marisco. Probably, yeah. Yes. You know a place I don't recommend is La Ola Betos. But in, in San... Well, I don't know the other one too, but they are ridiculously expensive. Yeah. It's it's like okay, man. A small cocktail is like nine dollars and really, really like small because they serve it to you in a cup, but the cup is like this thick. Hmm. And and you say, Okay, I understand I am in a restaurant in, in San Benito, but you look around and the restaurant is not even fancy. It's very yeah. expensive. <laughs> it's like a La Pampa. Oh. Yeah, La Pampa is... La Pampa is very expensive and, and the, it's a little, a little piece of meat. <laughs> Depends on meat. Puerto Marico is delicious. Yes, Puerto Marico is very delicious. Yeah, La Pampa, I prefer Mama it Chus. It's not... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. not true. Mama Chews. I remember Mama Chews at like a three and a half. Four or five dollars for a plate. And what about uh, La Senda Real? Ah, it's, a, it's a good place. The, the food is very delicious. Well, you know, Tucson is good. Tucson, Tucson is good. Um, there are the variety of meat you can well, you can eat whatever you want. There are a lot yes. of meat or vinegar but look, too. But if you if you like to eat and you like Chinese food, I recommend you Unang the buffet. That's very very good. The buffet. Unang Unang. It's in um. By the London Mafiller. Unan restaurant. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Or have you ever been to Faisca de Brazil? Ah, yeah, it's, it's delicious. Yeah, That's it's delicious, really delicious, but it's very expensive. Very expensive. That looks like but it's really whatever, whatever meat or whatever you want to, you need to. I don't know, you need not to eat, I don't know, one day and then you go to go to there. No, dude, I, I let me let me give you the tip here. I've been there like three times. First of all, they're very smart because the entrees. Do you know what is an entree? Yeah. The entree is a typical plato fuerte, man, because they tell you. Si gusta pasar a las entradas, and you go and they have like a lot of big plates, so you say, mm, "This is good." 
y esta es la entrada, you know. So you, you get full with the entrees. So by the time the, the meat comes, you're like, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So, you know, the first time I said, oh, man, I'm not going to do it again. You know, so then the second time, oh, and drink a lot of water. Yeah, you know, the second time I went, uh, you can pass with the entree. Yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. I'll, I'll just wait for the food. Thank you. Would you like me to bring you some entrees? No, it's okay. I'm all right. I'm just waiting for the food. You know, they insist for you to eat the entree. So, you know, when the meat comes. Yeah. And the trick is do not buy any beverages. Because I think it's like $25 per person. The Well, the last time I went, it was like $25 or $30 per person, right? But when you ask for the bill, it was like $50, $55 or $60. You say, what? Minimum. Because, yeah, because like the soda costs um, $5. $5. And stupid me, I was asking for caipirinhas. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so then the third time I went, no no beverages, no entrees. I just went directly to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's bringing the meat. Yeah. You know, you I just learn, bring... You learn at your third time you visit it then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have Who hasn't been there? Ingrid, have you been there? Yes, but it's too much food for me. That yeah. I I don't I don't pref I don't like the buffets because it's too much and I can't yeah. eat it. And you, know, you know where I recommend you? Well, I don't know with this pandemia now, but a good place, expensive but good. It's um, Hotel Sheraton. It's Sheraton, right? Or Presidente. Mm -hmm. Sheraton. Sheraton, right? Sheraton president, I think. Yeah, same process as Sheraton, the president. Okay, there you go for brunch. You pay, I think it's 15, it's between 15 and $20 per person. And it's brunch. But you eat all you, all you can eat and you can use the pool. Okay. So you want my recommendation because the second time I went, I did it. This is what you need to do. Go. You, have, you have to go with, with a big hungry day when you go there. Huh? Yeah, but also what, what you can do is go very early and have, have um, breakfast. There is no time limit. You know, you, then so you have a very big, big breakfast, right? Because I think it's like from seven in the morning until three in the afternoon. Okay. So you go and you have breakfast. You let it go down, go to the swimming pool, relax, chill out. And like around one in the afternoon, you're hungry again. So you have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Insert that black man, the meme. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the second time I went is because people just go for one meal. But yeah. you only see rich people go there, like, and they, you know, they only ask for like a little plate. You know, no, man. So I said, hmm, I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna come back here, but I'm gonna have an all you can eat breakfast and lunch. So, no, but it's a good, it's a good place to take your, to go relax with, with somebody. But now I don't know if you could do it with the pandemic. Mm. You know, the last time I went, you know who was there? Bueno. Logré verlo así de lejos, like going back. It was Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton. Yeah. Wow. When he came, I, I didn't know he came for a concert. So I guess he was eating there, so. I like Michael Bolton. He's cool. Yeah. yeah. I remember him because my mother used to listen to him a lot. Yes. Okay. Okay, class. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Now I am hungry. <laughs> I was thinking about those hot dogs from... From, from mm -hmm. 
Tomorrow yeah. is going to be a horrible day for me. Very, very terrible. But, I, I but, want. But, to, I feel but sick. today, maybe you, you have to class. You have two hour class because the the last Friday I I lose the class. No. <laughs> <laughs> we finished like at nine twenty six. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, no. thank you. No. We can send. No. Um, you know, I'm kind of worried because tomorrow I have a bad day because I have to take my son for his shots. His you injections. have a head, head today, today. Mm -hmm. No, my son, he has to get those two uh, two injections. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't like that because I I have this phobia, this panic. I get a panic when when I took him as a baby. And I saw him cry. I started crying. I mean, I cried more than 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 baby. <laughs> yeah, you know. And um, in fact, right now I feel like I want to vomit because. What is it better to say injection, injection, or, or shot? Shot. Both. Both are good. Both. Well, then you can use. I mean, grammatic, uh, technically, technically correct is injection okay. because that's the action. Injection. You yeah. inject. But they're both good. So tomorrow, early in the morning, I have to take them. Okay. But I'm not going to go in. Okay. okay. Yeah, my wife doesn't want me inside because I can. <laughs> I watch videos. I really, those videos are true, man. When you see fathers crying, I cried a lot. And, um, and I feel very guilty because, you know, my son is going to see me. Hey, dad, you're not working today. Well, no, let's go. I don't have a surprise, you know, like the complete way. I, I just look at him like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm really, really sorry, son. But no. Yeah. At the end of the day, you can uh, buy, uh, buy uh, ice cream or something like that. Oh, I have my whole day planned. When we go, you know, Happy Meal at McDonald's, ice cream, and tomorrow is his day. <laughs> I have everything right. planned. I even want to go buy toys. Mm -hmm. I want to buy my remote control car. Okay. <laughs> I will play with it first to see if it's safe. And then I pass it to him. <laughs> no, actually, I want it for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I tried to do once? It didn't work. I tried to make him a house from wood. You know, so I bought a lot of wood and said, okay, I'm going to make it my house. In 30 minutes, I said, nope, forget it. I already <laughs> had one accident. I bought the wrong wood. No me salió nada. No. <laughs> YouTube tutorials. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I hear about YouTube. Everything looks so easy. Like, oh, man, I could do that. <laughs> Yeah, so here you have me in front, Mire. But imagine I never have an uh, an a uh, house and my father is a carpenter. This is really sad. <laughs> Your father was a carpenter and he didn't make you a house? Imagine. Oh. Another <laughs> the, the half of three or I want a, a half of three and my father never constructed <laughs> a tree house. <laughs> But you know, by Santa Anita, by Santa Anita, yes or no, Carla, they sell those houses. Yes. <clears throat> they are for dogs, but my son, he's not going to know. He fits. It's, it's, it's like, cheap, I think. I it's never what? asked for, for the price, but I think it's cheap. Yeah, I see them, but they're for dogs. But you know, if you paint it well and everything, children can yeah. play there. That's what I yeah. would do. No. Yeah. My son, he's not going to know that. Dad, that's for dogs. No, it's not. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow I will go check it out. They <laughs> even put lights on the, the those houses, if you want. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I have to go there tomorrow. You just have to give the money and they do whatever you want. 
share the price, please. I can wait. I want to uh -huh. like, one yeah. for my dog. <laughs> I, I if I go, I'll take there. pictures and I'll send it to you, okay? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Depends on my son is if he's if he comes out of the hospital crying a lot, a lot, a lot, I'm gonna take him so he can choose a house. <laughs> but I don't know. I'll take videos. Dog is the kind of crazy. Let's go, David. You have permission to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay then class thank you very much I'll see you tomorrow thank you very much see you bye tomorrow. bye